Long time no see. Long time no see. Long, long time no see. Long, 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 as a project is unusual in that it's not a pure reconstruction. Um, dancers work with the original phrase material, the original vocabulary that's the fabric of the piece, and they work with the original instructions that were used to create the piece. But the forms that they can create are entirely new. Trisha gave five basic instructions. Line up, play with visibility and invisibility, travel the edge of the space, act on instinct, and keep it simple. So the first part of the process is that the dancers spend, um, I guess we spent a week learning phrase material, what's called the basic phrase material, which is actually a very, very quick and condensed process. And then they start playing with it to build a facility with that material to be able to improvise and um, discover possibility while still remaining loyal to the meticulous detail of the phrase. And then we follow the structure of the piece very much like a recipe. And what we arrive at at the end is a piece that looks and feels and functions, and I think that's the optimal word, it functions very much like the original piece but the particulars are different. So one thing that has been a wonderful discovery for me in the years that I've been working with this material is how there are logics that are embedded in the vocabulary that gave birth to the structure of the original choreography and therefore working with the material as fabric and coming to understand those logics, similar forms emerge even though there's no attempt to replicate what has been in the past. You're learning this very specific movement that was made on someone else's body who moves in a very specific way, Trisha Brown. And it's all having to do with the way your body swings, the weight of your body relating to gravity and how you're relating to space and other people and how you're changing the space as a group of people performing. Um, and the material is very, very specific. So while doing the material as it's meant to be done, you're also having to be able to play and be free and kind of have fun, but still be very clear and, and specific with what you're doing. So lining up. This piece is a very special piece for us to have in our rep because it's a practical uh, encounter with Trisha Brown for us. It's a, it's a way of understanding a little bit of, of her work in a very practical, practical way. Um, so we can understand a little bit about the, the idiosyncrasy of her movement, the, the complex um, coordination, the, the Cartesian approach to space, the geometrical aspect of the dance, you know, in terms of directions and planes, and also gives the dancers an opportunity to do something that is very technical. I love the practicality of the work and how it functions. It is function, it's not ornament. Um, so all of that exists in balance with the fact that it's also deeply human. It's born of our impulses and our um, instincts and our responses and our moods. And um, it's, that, it's the friction between those two worlds and the two sides of the, the self that to me are endlessly fascinating. This particular process is about stripping back what you perhaps know and, and going back to basics of what is weight. It's about going back to the core of what, what the, how the body moves, why the body moves, as opposed to decoration and, and, and um, uh, gestures. It's more very uh, simple. 
One of the things that's becoming clear is kind of less is more, especially with this piece because there's different people doing different movements at the same time, all like visually kind of on top of each other in a line, playing off of each other's, you know, lining up um, different angles. And so if you just do like the most simple thing you can think of while still, you know, keeping with the material and, and doing it as it's meant to be. I think sometimes that's the best choice. <laughs> what often happens in the context of creating is that we go from everybody piling in, everybody canceling each other out, things being overly complicated, to realizing, oh, it's as simple as just walking myself into the space. And realizing that it's the single triangle refracted time and time again that creates this prism effect. Um, so that it's, it's important to continually remind ourselves, keep it simple. Uh, and it's something that I feel is one of the greatest gifts that I've taken with me from working with Trisha, is that when things go awry, I realize, oh wait, yes, the simplest point from A to B is from A to B. Don't try to ornament. Don't try to fuss. Just simply do it.